Florida versus the New Jersey Shore. I want to compare Florida versus the New Jersey Shore and give you my experience and my perspective on the difference between the two. The first major difference is landmass. So Florida is a vastly spread out bigger land. New Jersey is more consolidated uh, and smaller. Uh, Florida has water on all three sides, on the east coast, the southern coast, and the west coast. New Jersey just has water on the east coast of its landmass. So what I really noticed was one major difference is when you go to the beach and when you go to the various beach towns in Florida, it's much more spread out. It's less crowded. There's many more parks. There's more outdoor activities. And you have more privacy, more intimacy with nature and with the beach than you do in the New Jersey Shore. Why? Because again, the New Jersey Shore is more consolidated, it's smaller, and it's a seasonal town, meaning you only really have use of the New Jersey Shore from about eight, late April, May to about September. Those are the prime months where people can really enjoy the beach because those are really the only months that's hot enough to be out there and to enjoy the beach. And it really, the water temperature, the ocean water only really gets enjoyable in July, August, and September compared to Florida where the ocean temperature stays warm all year round because of the climate. But the traffic, the traffic on the New Jersey shore in the summer, it's ram-packed. People coming down from New York, northern New Jersey, and going on to the uh, different beach towns, it, it's packed. Parking's packed. You have to pay to get on most most beaches. And, and that can make the experience less enjoyable because you're dealing with condensed areas, so many people, and fewer parks. Versus Florida, you have vast more land, you know, and it's not just seasonal, it's spread out. And, you know, you have more time to enjoy it and you're not fighting for traffic, etc. I mean, there's so many free parks that you can park at in Florida compared to New, Jer New Jersey Shore. You're paying toll beaners and, you know, then you have to pay to get on the beach. And then you know, there's millions of people on the beach. You finally find a spot over like in the New Jersey Shore on the beach. And as soon as you put your tent down, your, your umbrella and everything, people come right next to you. And, you know, you're sitting next to people all the time. I mean, now certainly in the southern uh, southern Florida, in Miami, in those areas, it is a little bit more crowded and it could have a little bit of a similar feel. But uh, a little bit uh, uh, north of that and on the west coast, you have, you have a vast more land. So the crowds at the New Jersey Shore are ram-packed, you know, and the traffic on the, uh, on the New Jersey Parkway is, is jam-packed on a Friday afternoon to get down to the New Jersey Shore. In Florida, you know, again, because you have a vast land, because you have so many different highways, because it's all year round, you have less of that ram traffic in general speaking terms. And so that's the big noticeable, noticeable difference. Um, you know, a, a seasonal, smaller, smaller state uh, with regards to beach enjoyment, New Jersey, plus the fact it's harder to park, plus the fact you have to pay to get into a lot of beaches. And when you get in the beaches, they're more crowded versus Florida, you have the ocean temperature all year round. You have vast more parks, more land, more areas that you can explore, east coast, west coast, the, the southern state. So that's the major difference that I'm noticing that I want to document, that I want to share with you. Is one better than the other? It's all relative to what you like and what you want to experience and etc. So, but I'm sharing that's difference. That's difference. Whether it's better, worse, or whatever, that's for your decision, your perspective. Uh, but I want to share that difference and I wanted to document it and stay inspired.